We're here with Mr. Captain Eric, who took us on an expedition beyond uh, <laughs> the city limits, should I say. <laughs> How are you doing, guys? It's Team Hard Life Captain Albert Zertucci here. Captain Eric Hernandez, and he took us on a alligator gar expedition. And I have to say expedition because we went four by four with our patas. Nice. But... The deal was we tried out a few different leaders and different techniques tonight and it was awesome to collaborate with somebody that does it for a living or somebody that's done it years past and hasn't had a really chance to do it but i got a hook one and i was trying to feed my family so i kept a nice a nice one y'all will see it and so did you know another gentleman on the trip with us mr john no john dude john what john what john amandars Nice Armandadas. Yes. Roll your heart, bro. Don't be shy. <laughs> Armandadas. That's what I said. Yeah. Armandadas. Okay. So, there was four of us actually on the trip. The other guy stayed out there. Dude, that dude's a trooper. So, anyways, it was, it was awesome to go to another place that I haven't ever fished before and get introduced to another style of fishing of casting in extremely tight quarters and still being able to do the fishing we were doing. Had a lot of hookups, a lot of putting our knowledge together of what's going on, when something happens, and so forth. The only bad thing was yours truly decided to cast the whole recording assembly into the water. We got it back, but <laughs> I don't know if it made it through the night. So, you know, it's a hard life, I'm just saying. You know, so. But we're going to show you all the finished product because in reality, at the very beginning, every time we turn on the camera, the fish were camera shy. And I mean camera shy because as soon as we had a hookup, turn on the camera, they get off. Not once, not twice, but a few times on all the different rigs. So it wasn't just something spectacular. Actually, I believe it was something spectacular because how is it that they call out our name or they're going to be on camera right? and just off the hook? Yeah. Yeah. It's y'all guys. It's y'all the subscribers. I blame y'all. No. <laughs> <laughs> so... We got our catches, and it was after I got back to the truck, and I gig it to my other camera so we can show y'all what we had to show for tonight. And I tell you what, mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so before we get to introducing the fish, I want to do a little introduction of Mr. Eric Hernandez, Captain Eric Hernandez. Thank sorry, you, excuse me. <laughs> um, and the reason being because, dude, you got your own YouTube channel, right? Yes, I do. And what's it called? Uh, it's uh, Real Locals, uh, Fishing Reel, R-E-E-L-L-C-O-S. And you'll look for a set of shark jaws like that that says Team Real Local in it. The link will be here at the bottom here in just a second. But how long have you been guiding? Uh, this is my third year. <laughs> third year of uh, guiding for Alligator Gar um, and Land Bay Shark Fishermen, as you like yourself. I do have to say, from my perspective, I've seen you blow up in the last two years, just like. And you know what? I, I truly believe, seeing the videos and seeing your catches posted on Facebook it's because the knowledge you're putting into your customers as well so that's just an outside perspective on, on my behalf right to you and I do appreciate you taking me out and showing me your, your spot sorry guys I can't share the knowledge there <laughs> because you know what the man took it upon his own to trudge through hundreds of yards of wilderness to make these spots happen and to, to put these customers on a real life experience and actually i was talking about it tonight about how you know when you look around you're out in this wilderness but you'll hear some distance off city traffic going on and stuff like that and i mean it's way off in the dune you know it's way off but still for the time being you get to look up and see a bunch of stars yeah and that, 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 the sounds out there man the wilderness you can hear the cows coyotes i mean it's it's been it makes me feel at home so I mean, I'm out there with nature all the time, so I mean, I truly do find it peaceful. And then, of course, catching a nice fish, especially if it's a prehistoric monster, uh, <laughs> it puts like... smiles on people's faces. And, you know, that's what it's all about when it comes to being a guide. You know, you want to make everybody happy. Can't always do it, but, you know, you do your best with what you got. Yes, sir. And for me, like I said, normally 
I always have my parameters of what I will keep to feed the family and or release. You know, this catch fell in between my parameters of keeping so that way I can have food for the family because I hadn't had gar in about a decade and I'm sorry that sweet tooth was just it was hitting me pretty bad tonight so I really wanted to take some gar home and and I got the opportunity to catch one and this was the perfect size for it because we actually hooked a bigger one and a whole Several bigger one <laughs> yeah, yeah. We had a lot yeah. Of <laughs> well <laughs> the thing was with that one we actually saw it close enough that it, it really made us, you know, our mindset went from food to like, okay, what can we do to make sure this catch was released safely? You know, our mindset changed from this to that. And that's why I love fishing with the guys I fish with because it's not just what's here and now, it's what we can do for the future. So Captain Eric Hernandez, I really do got to give you a shout out, bro. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much for no problem, Robert. Have, having me along and... Uh, Putting up with my throwing my camera in the water. <laughs> well, I'm glad Jay was there because, uh, yeah, he's good at finding stuff in the water. <laughs> okay, Jay Franco is his right hand man with him on his trips, and he actually got out in the water, was able to pull my tripod, <laughs> and luckily my gimbal wasn't there because that, that would have been trash. But he was able to pull my tripod and the phone, which I Jimmy rigged to record some of the footage. However, I don't know how it's going to come out till. T tomorrow or the day after when it can dry up but I'm gonna post a video now and if I can salvage some footage I'll let you know what's going on but let's show you what the fish look like I mean it was a nice trip yeah really excited thank you <laughs> I want to give a shout out to my team real locals guys much respect to my team guys love you guys oh yeah see y'all Saturday <laughs> yeah <laughs> That's my little catch right there. <laughs> and there's the baby. <laughs> there you go. So we got to take home a little bit of food today. And again. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Eric, Stop. thank you. You're very welcome, John, buddy. No problem, brother. Hey, guys, how you doing on uh, Mr. Albert Tuches' channel? Uh, hard life guys I um, just wanted to uh, introduce myself I'm Captain Eric Hernandez with the hook of memory guide service out of Corpus Christi Texas guys um, I'm a land-based shark fisherman as well as land-based alligator gar fishing guide uh, I do both guys so uh, by any chance if y'all are interested in doing some fishing with me there's not a lot of action uh, from this one because we accidentally lost the phone but if you're <laughs> interested in catching some alligator gar please feel free to call me my phone number is 361-944-7913 and, uh, you know, we'll, we'll get out there and do it to it. And, uh, you know, we'll put you on some decent-sized fish. Put something uh, around this size here. Oh, yeah. So, and anyway, guys, that's what we did tonight. We enjoyed it. Albert, I appreciate you coming fishing with me. John, always a pleasure fishing with you, brother. And, uh, you know, guys, to the next time, to the next fish, man. That's my saying. I'll see you on the next one.